So I wanted to show you around a little more on what was created in case you're new to Laravel. This link now points to keep your eye here um, homepage.com slash QR codes. So um, and what it does is the index page it tries to list all your um, all the QR codes. So far we don't have any and of course a new link has been created for us to create a new one. Um, so, but this is the index, as you can see, it's QR codes, it's index. If we go to our folder, minimize everything, come to resources, inside views, if we look at our QR codes folder, the folder with the, that is containing that the HTML file that came up with this is on the index. But it's a little tricky because if we click on index right now, the index contains QR codes. Let's say QR codes 2. I just edited this. If we come here, keep your eye on this QR code and I refresh. Um, it's refreshing. You see, QR codes 2. So that is the file inside QR codes folder. This is the folder that contains uh, the file that contains the code that makes up that message. Now, there's something important you need to take note of, which is this. See, include QR codes table which means this page I see it's small uh, it contains just the skeleton but the real table the drop-down table this table let's say we have 300 QR codes they will be listed here so this table is saved away in another file and important to this file so the, the, the table is in QR codes folder look at it QR codes folder a file called table.blade.php look at it table.blade.php if we open it we see you will see you will see that we can see a code for a table you see this is the table head uh, this is the for each code for each row in the table and you see the code has been written for us by the generator and the delete links edit links delete links everything is there so this kind of makes sense that the table is somewhere else where the rest of the code is somewhere else that's how this Laravel generator organizes its code very neatly Another place you can see a powerful organization of code or one of the advantages is, is in the create and edit pages. You know, normally, if you're building a website and you need to create a new, write a code that will, uh, people will fill a form to create a new item, the form will be different if you want to create um, another page where people can edit the form they have filled you will now have two identical forms on different pages. I don't know if you've had that uh, problem before, but what Laravel Generator does is that we just have one form that is being assessed by two pages. So the first page is the, the Laravel Creates page. As you can see, it's it's um, very scanty, just contains the main uh, header. But then if you look here, you will see that it's importing a table called QR code.fields, this table, the, and uh, sorry, file. If we open this file, we we'll see that this file contains all the fields. You see, up on the until the submit. This is the last button, which is the save button. Contains all the fields. If we go to the edit page too, we see that the edit page is very scanty, but then it imports the same file. So what Laravel QR, this QR code, gen, this um, Laravel um, generator, what it does is it helps you to use the same form for different pages. So it um, tears apart your page, it tears your page apart and puts important uh, items differently, so that you can import them from any page you want. So this is very beautiful, and you can extend it any way you want. You can create your own new files and import and export whatever. So it makes sense for us. Um, I just took time to explain this for those who are new to Laravel or new to this uh, generator, so that you understand how it organizes things very very elegantly. All right. Now there are a lot of a number of things I can do, which is try to clean up these codes and stuff. But uh, I want to go straight to the QR code generation. Let us write the code that generates QR code, and we so that we can see how it works. Once we understand how it works, I can now take the rest of the tutorial to clean up this interface and make it look very professional. Does that make sense to you? To me, it makes sense because the title of this course has to do with QR code generation. Instead of wasting all the time on building other parts of the app before we get to the main, the core, I think we should get to the core fast, alright? See you guys in the next video.